Hello, and welcome to everyone on board of CloudHedge's Cloud Migration Walkthrough. Today, we are going to talk about how to automate refactoring and containerizing complex legacy applications and deploy them directly to a preferred cloud. This video will also help you to understand how startups, medium and large organizations can save time, costs, and resources. CloudHedge seamlessly refactors even the most complex workloads to the cloud without downtime, disruption, or data loss. Before we begin, here is a brief introduction on CloudHedge's tools. Discover, Transform, and Cruise. These tools are leveraged in a sequence to migrate and deploy on cloud. To start with, the Discover module helps to analyze and classify workloads with a recommendation report for cloud enablement. The Transform module automates rehosting or refactoring of workloads, whereas the Cruise module enables application deployment on cloud of choice and monitors them on an ongoing basis. The TRIO enables automation of migrating applications within days, weeks, instead of months. Moreover, CloudHedge performs the end-to-end -end use case without accessing the source code. Now that you have a better understanding of CloudHedge, let us talk about our unique propositions. That is, automated refactoring of applications. The Discover module assesses bespoke applications and runs a complete scan to fetch the application services. It also fetches the complete workload and historical analysis of the host server for hardware, operating system, application level processes, etc., and further helps to scale up, down, or refactor during deployment. These services are then transformed by generating Docker files. These Docker files are then used to create a Docker image, which can be published on a private or public registry and can later be deployed on a Kubernetes cluster to the cloud of your choice. Application Blueprint can be created to rewire the Docker images and deployed on a cluster. In addition, we also monitor these applications and clusters. Let's go through a demo. By using the Discover tool, we add an application. CloudHedge supports both Linux and Windows applications. Choose the applicable credentials and connection type, SSH for Linux and BASIC or Kerberos for Windows applications. Once the application is added, the tool will discover the node or multiple nodes and show the details and process topology. Here we can see two nodes, on-prem 5 and on-prem 10, hosting different applications. Now you can select the process topology and find the process-related dependencies between different services. The same can be referred while creating application blueprint later. Here, we can see how the different application services on these two nodes are interacting with each other, highlighted in different colors. Let's expand one of the nodes and see the process which is identified by the CloudHedge's Discover tool. Here, we can see the different processes which include Python, Node, Nginx, and few more. Each process dependency and other information can be retrieved from the Discover tool as shown below. After selection, the tool then expands the details of the service. Details of the service include process ID, ports, user information, and path which are shown in a pop-up. Let us now check the details of the discovery report that has been generated for various nodes. The tool then shows the kernel level discovery for the nodes and lists out the information pertaining to the hardware and software. The Discovery tool identifies application services running on the node and filters out the kernel and OS level processes. In the current example, you can see that 142 OS level processes are ignored and 8 application processes are identified for transformation. To transform the services into Docker containers, we need to run the second phase of Discovery by attaching a probe on the respective services and run a cycle of regression testing. This will help CloudHedge to identify the open ports, environment variables, and other dependencies. Once identified, the probes need to be detached. Now, the Docker file can be downloaded for further containerization. Here is a quick look at how the Linux Docker file looks like. That was quick and easy. Similar to Linux, the tool can be used to containerize an IIS Windows applications installed on Windows 2008 and above. Let us now choose the Windows 2008 node to identify different services. For Windows, let us refractor ASP.NET app, which is running behind IIS. The tool shows the system information and lists out the IIS processes. 
interesting thing is, there is no need to attach or detach a probe for Windows applications to generate a Docker file. Here is a quick look at one of the sample Docker file created for Windows. CloudEdge can automate refactoring any IIS-driven applications hosted on 2008, 2012, 2016 Windows Server. Docker images are later created and published on public or private Docker registry, which can be used for creating application blueprint and deployed on a Kubernetes-driven cloud infra. That's easy and simplified. Let us now take a look at Cruise and understand how to deploy applications. Once you create an application blueprint, you can simply drag and drop your application to any pre-created Kubernetes cluster. In the following example, we have added three containerized services to form an application. Redis, Node, and Nginx. You can edit any of these services to change the parameters. As shown, we can edit the Docker image, ports, auto-scaling, replicas, multiple public endpoints, volumes mapped, environment variable, and security key. Similarly, you can add a new service as per the application blueprint. CloudEdge enables the user to create their own Kubernetes clusters on AWS, GCP, Azure, or on-premise leveraging OpenShift. User could also leverage ECS or pre-creates cluster service. This completes the discover, transform, and deployment phase of your app in an automated manner. With the ease of CloudHedge, the three phases can be performed within days instead of months. There are more cool features offered by CloudHedge, for example, CloudLease, VM to Cloud, creating HA environments, integrating with Jenkins, ServiceNow, etc. Let's summarize the benefits CloudHedge brings to the table. 1. Discover process is reduced from weeks or months to hours or days. 2. Significant time saving in creating a Docker image. 3. Provides options for Windows and Linux. 4. Cut down OpEx up to 30% by migrating apps to cloud. 5. Faster deployment across multiple clouds and scalability. 6. Harness the benefits of containers and Kubernetes. 7. Seamless integration with popular DevOps tools, fast and simple delivery. Thank you all for joining this interesting session from CloudHedge.